Hi there, meteorologist Chris Spears. Welcome to Weather School on CBS and Denver. I want to talk to you today about different types of thunderstorms. And yes, there are different types. The first type is called the ordinary thunderstorm. Ordinary storms only last about 15 to 30 minutes. They normally feature some small hail, maybe a little bit of brief rain, some lightning and thunder, but that's usually about it. They pop up because of the air mass that you have in place. Warm, humid air that starts to rise with daytime convection. There are three stages to an ordinary storm and you can kind of follow these throughout the day. Mid to late morning, you'll start seeing the rising motion. We call this the updraft stage where air is simply rising. The higher that air gets as the day goes on, the taller your cloud will get. Well, the bigger and the taller your cloud gets, what's happening inside several processes that are building precipitation. And when that precipitation overcomes the up draft, keeping it suspended, it will fall out of that cloud and now we are in the mature stage and this is when it will begin to rain. You have a storm with an updraft being fed by warm humid air and a downdraft which is the precipitation coming out. Now remember we talked about these only last 15 to 30 minutes. Here's why. As that downdraft hits the surface it will spread out. Can you see that little cold front right there? It's called a gust front. And as that colder air spreads across the surface, it cuts off the updraft that was feeding that storm. This process takes about 15 to 30 minutes. And once that updraft gets cut off, all that's left is the downdraft. And with nothing feeding the storm, you enter stage three or the dissipating stage. And this whole process only takes about 15 to 30 minutes. Now, you can have a ordinary thunderstorm that's sitting by itself, or you can have a, several sitting side by side, all in the various three stages, some dissipating, some mature, and some just starting to grow. And that is the ordinary thunderstorm. Now, the second type, the severe storm. This is a long lived storm. They can last for an hour or more. They're the ones that have large hail and high winds and tornadoes. And usually, not always, but typically, you'll have some kind of a larger scale weather feature involved, like a surface low pressure, a cold front with a jet stream above you. All right, so what makes a storm severe and can an ordinary storm become severe? Absolutely. As long as you're checking one of these three boxes, wind 58 miles per hour or greater, hail one inch or larger in diameter, and the presence of a funnel cloud or a tornado, any one of these three criteria will classify a storm as severe. So it is entirely possible to get just an ordinary pop-up thunderstorm that lasts long enough and, and can grow strong enough to become severe rated. All right, so severe storms are a little bit different. You remember ordinary storms, we said they only last 15 to 30 minutes whereas a severe storm can go much longer. This is a big key to it. See the gold arrow here on the left. As we get away from the ground and go up, the wind speeds become stronger and shift direction. And this is called shear. And this causes the thunderstorm to begin to rotate or lean. And if you really kind of look at this drawing, can you see how it is sort of leaning a little bit? It's tilted and that tilt keeps the updraft and the downdraft separate. So in the ordinary storm, that downdraft sends a gust front out, cuts the updraft off and kills the storm. In a severe storm, because of the wind shear, this thing is rotating and leaning, and therefore you do not have the downdraft cutting off the updraft. And so this is a much longer lived storm. I'll get out of the way here and we'll kind of show you uh, what one may look like if you see it in nature. There are three types of supercell thunderstorms or severe thunderstorms. This one's the classic. It's the one that produces most tornadoes. It has a very defined downdraft here with the precipitation curtain near the ground, and then in the updraft uh, where there is no precipitation, that's where you would find a wall cloud or a tornado. Second type of uh, supercell and a third type of supercell, the HP and the LP. HP supercells, well, you can see it's very gray and dark. They're very wet. They have such an incredible amount of moisture inside that often if there is a tornado, it is completely wrapped in rain. You do not see it. You do not know what's happening. And can you imagine you seek shelter underground because of a tornado threat, but the heavy rain creates a flash flood threat. And it is possible to simultaneously have both happen 
happening at the same time. Thankfully, here in Colorado, we don't see that too much. This is what we are used to because we are such a dry place. We have what are called LP supercells. And the beauty, beauty of this is because there is so little precipitation, you see the complete structure of this storm. And this is why so many storm chasers flock to Colorado to chase storms because you simply see so much of the storm's structure and shape, which even though it's dangerous and scary at the same time can be very beautiful to see. More on your forecast in just a bit.